stadium to watch the dogs and the Dees. The grand final replay, um, not as exciting as what it was for round one. I think it's a little bit of a danger game because I think the dogs are starting to play some okay footy. We've got to get the job done though. Geelong keep winning and uh, Freo and team below us keep losing. So to stay in the top two, I feel like we just got to get the job done tonight. And we like to play Marvel recently, so backing us in today that we can get the job done. I'm going to tip the D's by 27 points, but I am the weirdo with the camera today. No one's come up with me. I've got some good seats on level two, so I'm stoked with, uh, with where I'm watching the footy from. But I'm just that weirdo holding the camera by myself. Big game for our man, Sammy Weeds, down in full forward. We need a big performance from him. Come on, D's. <laughs> Oh, nothing more frustrating than seeing a defender float back and drop a mark in defence when they could have spoiled it. Harrison Petty got in the way of Tomlinson potentially dropped a bit of a sitter and uh, Hugo Hagen's kicked the dog second. So it's 2 zip 12 to 0 1 1. Bit of a shaky start here by the ability to stop Bont there was so handy. Clayton Oliver bursting through, getting a quick snap inside 50. The Wee getting his hands to it, couldn't quite clunk it, and then the fritter finishes off the work. Um, and that's the D's first. So we needed a bit of a settler because the dogs are off to a bit of a hot start. Orton getting a free kick in the ruck. He's going to have a shot from sort of 35 out slight angle, but these are where he can let himself down. He would be an absolute powerhouse if he could just finish the easy ones he should kick. And he says, shut up, McDonald, you don't know what you're talking about. So, fair enough, he's absolutely slotted it. And the dogs answer back straight away. So, Mint, going to a game like this where you watch two midfield powerhouses go at it. We got spanked last week against Port Adelaide in the midfield. Um, they got a clearance just before and ended up in a goal. And then Petrarca, uh, Tommy Sparrow just worked it out well there. So, um, good little response. And it's a four-point game here in the first term. That's a snag you'll never see kicked ever again. Riley Garcia has smashed it on his boot out of the pack and he's kicked it like a banana on the left from the right pocket. It literally didn't make sense. It looked like it was going off out on the full off the boot and then just swung back late. Just a freakish, freakish snag. Pick it, kicks the D second in a row. I feel like we're on it. I feel like we're playing some really good footy today. Um, the Bulldogs have started well as well. What a time here at Marvel. The D's are 6 3 39. The Dogs are 4 0 24. We've got a 15 point lead. A really good finish to that term. Our man Sammy Weeds kicked two in succession. Um, he, need, he needs a big game. We need to see Sammy put a bit of form together. Yeah, two goals to start the quarter. That's all we can ask for. And after the dogs hot start, we sort of answered back. So pretty happy with how the midfield's tracking. The forward line's humming a little bit, which is handy. And um, yeah, hopefully this is just the start. First goal of the second term. That's got to be three or four in a row to the D. So well and truly on top of this contest. And it's the midfield that is impressing me the most at the minute. Riley West is entering that uh, Zach Bailey type category of like a genuine, genuine half forward striker. Um, he's kicked a pretty classy goal there. And, Broke the run of D's goal, so the Bulldogs aren't going away. I think I said before, Riley West is seriously impressing me. He's just set up Tim English with a snag there. Great coming by the Bond. The Dogs aren't going away, they reduce it. What is that? Nine points here at Marvel. So the D's still in front, still got the advantage, but yeah, those small small forwards from the Dogs are starting to get going now. Well, good response from Fritter. He's kicked his third, but Jack Viney with the clearance. He is putting together... A, a very good season. It's probably the best season we've seen from Jack Viney, apart from his early, early days at the D's. Phenomenal clearance, and the D's get the goal back that we need. Another great end-to-end -end passage of play. This is some of the best ball movement we've seen by the D's for a long, long time. They've really ramped it up today. That kicking from end-to-end, -end, the mark from Hibbard, I think it went out to Malcham and Sparrow, and they all got involved, and it ended up in Luke Jackson's hands, who slotted one from directly in front. Um, it might be the marble surface or something, but this is this is some scintillating footy. Billy Fridge has brought his own footy to this forward line. I think he's kicked three or four, and they've all been left foot snaps around the body. Unbelievable stuff here from, from Bailey Fridge. Half time here at Marvel Stadium, and the D's have a 15 point lead. 9 2 56 to 11 5 71. So, what that's 16 scoring shots to 11. We've muffed some chances, but you can't be perfect. 
I'm pretty happy with the way the boys are playing, to be honest. The forward connection's been pretty good, and the forward line's starting to hum a little bit. I'm a little bit frustrated that it looks like a bit of a shootout. We don't like to have shootouts with teams. We like to constrict and defend and try and um, keep them to a really low score. But the dogs are getting on the end of a couple, so if we could sort of curtail their scoring, sort of keep up our pressure and, and what we're doing down the forward line, we should be able to get the chocolates. But can't complain with that first half of footy. Joined by some legends. Guys, how are you? Do you reckon we'll get over the line from here? Yeah, I reckon we Welcome. Can we get a go, D? Go, D! Yeah! yeah. Jakey Malksham will kick the first for the third for the Ds. Great build up, great play, and a great finish. It's Keith, a little bit late and a little bit clunky, a little bit reckless. Probably the 50 probably was there. Um, but Malksham kicks the first of the third for the Ds. The lead is out to 21 points. The Togs reduce it to a point. This is their grand final, they're throwing everything at us. And then after Norton slots it out of the ruck, your Waitmans and your Nortons and your little Nipsey types start to get real lippy. So a little bit of feeling in this game in the third term. Late in the third, we've been on the back foot for a lot of this term, Sammy Weed lining up to give us a little bit of a buffer going into three quarter time. Come on, Sammy. Yes, Sammy Weed! Come on, Dees! Jeez, we needed a snag there. We were under the pump for a majority of that third term. That was desperate time spells for desperate measures. Three quarter time here at Marvel Stadium. The D's are up by 13 points. We got tested heaps in that term. Very, very nerve wracking for, uh, for the Melbourne supporters. It was hemmed in the Bulldogs forward line and we just sort of had to ride that term out. But a late goal to the weed and we got a bit of breathing space. I think we should be able to professionally close this one out. but. The dogs have been on and you never know how this last quarter is going to go. So come on Dees, this is a very valuable four point. Jamara lining up for the first goal of the third. He's kicked it. The dogs are back within a kick. Cosy pick at quality crumbing, quality finish. And we've got another 13 point gap on the game after Jamara kicked the first one of the quarter for the Bulldogs. If we could kick the next couple, we could probably put a bit of a pop in the balloon that the dogs have at the minute, but they've been good in this second half, so it's up to the Ds to finish this off now. Cozzy Pickett lining up for two in a row and lining up for his third. We need this. Come on, Cozzy. He's kicking from the boundary line. He comes out a little bit. It's just me. Barra's taking a mark. There was a couple of missed frees in that little passage that were frustrating a few Melbourne supporters, but Jamara's having the shot to reduce it to a kick again. Jamara Eugle Hagen goes bang! Just can't get that gap to give us a bit of breathing space. The dogs are hot in our heels. This could be a really, really good finish, but just frustrating second half from the Ds at the minute. They paid a Dunkley mark when it hit the turf right in front of us. Dunkley's having a shot, but the ball hit the ground umpire. What is Josh Dunkley to reduce it to a point? Oh boy. Cozzy Pickett lining up for two in a row in this last term, going for his third, I believe, as well. He kicked from directly in front. We really need this because things are getting a little bit tense here at Marvel. He's missed again. Stephen May with a great intercept mark and then turns it over with an unforced error. Straight to Bond, quick amble to McCray, and it's a two point ball game here at Marvel. Vital four points on offer. And the D's really only have themselves to blame. Truck has only just missed out of the stoppage. There's murmurings around the ground. We're 20 minutes into the last. Oh. It's an absolute ball burst of a contest. Oh. Come on, D's, hold on. The dogs are in front. The dogs are in front. Riley Garcia has put the dogs in front. They've come from nowhere. Frustrating. Come on, Dees. We can't get our hands on it. It's the go. We need the next, the Dees. There's still plenty of time, but we need to snag one here. We just can't get our hands on it. We haven't been able to get our hands on it this whole turn. One minute to glow. A throw in at the top of our 50. Dawn's been taken on the ball. 
Dogs are going to try and chip it around. Free <laughs> kick dogs, they're home. They're home. Oh, they've got it done, the dogs. They've got it done. And raining. Um, geez, couldn't get the job done at Marvel against the dogs. The dogs have been horrendous this season. They're starting to build late, but you've got to you've got to polish off a sort of bottom eight side if you're the Melbourne Football Club. Really frustrating, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm smoking, but I felt like there's a lot of positives out of that game. For a half-strung forward line, it's starting to hum a little bit. I don't know what happened defensively. We've absolutely capitulated. Um, but I think you, you're a little bit idiotic if you're trying to have a shootout with the dogs at Marvel. That's just asking for trouble. But I don't know. I feel like some things that we were worried about a long time ago are starting to click. So it sort of feels like this time last year when we lost to the dogs and then had a draw. We're now at the premiership runway, as David King likes to say. So that's got to be the last of those sort of performances. We've got to build from here. And... Um, I felt like we were building nicely until this game. I felt like halfway through this game, we were really building nicely into the season. So, yeah, frustrating that we haven't got the four points because it was one of those ones where you've got to bank them against those sides and move on. But I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm positive. I'm positive after that. Once again, I appreciate all the support. Once again, I appreciate everyone tuning in. And I'll see you for some more vlogs in the rain very, very soon. Cheers.